Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I am doing a fragrance first impression video pretty much. Um, I don't typically do these. And one of the reasons is because I feel like sometimes it takes me like a few times of wearing a fragrance before knowing if I love it or not. So I don't like to make a quick judgment just at first sniff, especially just sniffing it out of a bottle or whatever. So what I decided that for this video, I'm going to show you me unboxing this fragrance and tell you my initial thoughts. Like you get a true first impression, but then the second part of the video will be a few days later after I've had a chance to wear it and I can let you know what my thoughts are on it. So at the end of the video, I'll let you know if this is a love, a like, or a letdown. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on my new perfume, then just keep watching. All right, so first off, I'm gonna start by saying this is a fragrance that I have wanted since sometime last year when I first heard about it. However, there's not that many reviews on it. I guess it's not that popular, but it's something that I just always had on my list and it's something I always really wanted, but I've never seen it in store to be able to smell it. <laughs> and I'm not like a big, I don't really like purchasing decants to be honest. <laughs> I probably should, cause that would be cheaper and less risky, but I really don't like doing that. So. For Mother's Day, I went ahead and purchased this for myself because I am a mom and yeah, I deserve it. <laughs> anyway, so the fragrance we're talking about today is my first fragrance from this house and this is from Parfums de Marley and this is called Casilli. So you can see it's still wrapped in plastic and I swear, I got it last night. It took all I could not to open it right then, but I really wanted to do this video because I know there's not a lot out there about this particular fragrance. So, um, let's open it up. So this is what the box looks like all unwrapped. And it opens like, oh, like that. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. So another reason I didn't want to get a decant is because honestly, I love the look of these bottles. I know Delina is the most popular fragrance from this line for women, but I just don't think I like Delina, honestly. <laughs> So this is the one that I've been super interested in. So this one is in a peach bottle. Oh, it's kind of really stuck in there. Okay. So this is a beautiful peach bottle. It looks like it could be plastic or something, but it's definitely glass. Um, I guess it's painted or frosted or whatever, but this is absolutely gorgeous. This is beautiful. I love it. The, the top is silver and then it has the little peach rhinestone on it. And I just think this is going to look so beautiful displayed in my closet with the rest of my perfumes. All right, so let's go ahead and try it out. This cap is really heavy, which makes it feel really nice and high quality. Of course, I can't smell anything because it's never been sprayed before. So let's go ahead and spray it. I'm not wearing any perfume today. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let that dry a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and spray it like I would normally spray perfume. Okay. So to me, I can smell a bit of sweetness, some floral. I definitely smell the peach that everybody talks about. So I would say that I smell mostly peach and floral. All right, so I do really like the way it smells. As of right now, I cannot tell you whether I love it or not. So let's wait a couple minutes and then I'll smell it again. Um, but let's go ahead and tell you what the notes are in this fragrance. So the top notes are red currant, Bulgarian rose, and floral notes. Middle notes are plum, mimosa, frangipani, and patalia. And the base notes are sandalwood, tonka bean, and vanilla. I don't really smell any of the base notes. I really only smell like peach and floral. It is very, very nice. It smells very elegant, uh, very feminine. You know, I typically go for more unisex scents. So I knew I was taking a chance by purchasing this perfume because I knew it was going to be feminine. I mean, look at this bottle. Like, how can it not be? <laughs> but it is very, very nice so far. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let that settle and then I will be back in a few to let you guys know what I think of it after it's kind of dried down and everything. 
and we'll go from there. So the fragrance has been on my skin now for about 15 minutes and I know that's not long. I wasn't really planning on coming back this quick, but I wanted to because I didn't want to forget my thoughts. Um, so far, I am liking this a bit more than what I first sprayed it. I'm actually really liking this. It is peach, definitely, and it is floral, definitely. It's not something that I would typically go for, but it smells really very pretty to me. I feel like this would be a big compliment getter because I feel like it's more, you know, I don't want to say mainstream because people look down on that, but I feel like it's something that a lot of people would like at this particular point in time. So yeah, it's very pretty and I like that even though it is a floral and it is something that I think is very likable, it doesn't smell basic to me. So yeah, I'll, I'll be back to let y'all know more later, but I just wanted to tell y'all that before I forgot. <laughs> All right, so right now the time is 3.30, which means I've been wearing this fragrance now for six hours and I wanted to come on because I'm actually going to be taking a shower in a bit, so it's going to be gone. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to give you my thoughts of just this first short day of wearing it it is still there this is very soft but i noticed that as the day went on it got sweeter and i fell in love with it more so as of right now it is a love but like i said i'm going to try this out for a few days and then i'll be back to you guys and kind of let you know my final thoughts on it but as of right now i am really really enjoying it it is sweet it's peachy and vanilla that's mainly what i smell at this point so as far as like projection goes, I'm not really sure how far this projects because I haven't received any compliments on it. What I will say is that I haven't been around anybody receiving any compliments. I've only been around my son and he's only five, so he doesn't care what I smell like. <laughs> and then the other thing is that I have smelled it on myself as I've been moving about. I actually went out on a walk and exercised so I did smell it while I was doing both of those things, which is a good sign to me, but it was never overpowering. It is more of a soft scent, but it's not, I don't think it's necessarily a skin scent if that makes sense. So like I said, I'm going to wear this for a few more days and I'll be, be back. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you for sure if this is a love, a like, or a letdown. <laughs> See you later. So I have to say my feelings today are pretty much the same as what they were the first day that I wore this fragrance. So I think this is a beautiful, very feminine fragrance. It does smell peachy to me, even though peach is not listed as a note. I've also seen other people mention that they think it's peachy as well. So I'm not alone in that. So to me, it smells peachy and flora, floral, <laughs> especially at the first spray. Now, after it dries down, to me, it becomes a little less floral, more peachy, and then deep into the dry down, I get a lot of vanilla. So like most of the fragrance life for me is like a peachy vanilla with a floral background. So I really like it. It is quite different than something I would normally go for. And honestly, when I picked this perfume up, I knew that I kind of have been wanting to branch out, try some things that are not necessarily my style per se. Um, so that's why I picked this up. As far as performance goes, to me, this is a long lasting fragrance. I've noticed that I've gotten about eight hours of wear out of it. However, it is pretty soft after about the fourth or fifth hour, but I will catch like whiffs of it on myself as I'm wearing it. <clears throat> Excuse me, don't know where that came from. I will catch whiffs of it on myself and especially if I spray it on my clothes as I'm wearing it throughout the day. But if you like beast mode type fragrances, I don't think this would really be for you. So I'm sure you guys are wondering what my final verdict is on this beauty here. Is it a like, a love, or a letdown? And I have to say right now for me, it is a like. <laughs> it's in between a like and a love, don't get me wrong, but it is a like. And that's simply because it's not something I would typically go for. So. I do think that this fragrance for me will be reserved for more like occasions when I want to feel very feminine. So like church, um, if I'm going on like a really nice like daytime date or something like that, or even it can be used every day, but just for me and what I prefer, <clears throat> it wouldn't be an everyday fragrance for me. You know what I'm saying? So for what I prefer, this would not be like my be all end all by any means, but I do really like it. I do not think that it sm smells generic. I know Parfums de Marley gets a lot of heat for their stuff smelling like other fragrances. And I do think that this fragrance is 
a mass appealing fragrance but I definitely don't think it smells cheap it smells very expensive to me <laughs> it smells very uh, good to me and I just feel like it doesn't necessarily match my personality as well as some of my others so I do really like it it is between a like and a love for me uh, so if you're into florals, you're into fruity florals, you probably definitely will love this. Uh, but for me, it's in between a like and a love. I am going to keep it because like I said, it's in between a like and a love. And if I find that I don't end up using it, then of course I will get rid of it because that's what I do. But for now, I'm very happy with this. And yeah, it, it met my expectations. It probably exceeded my expectations to be honest. So that's it for my thoughts on Parfums de Marley Casilli. Let me know if you guys like this video, if you wanna see more of these type videos. Um, I do have a haul video coming up and I did order like another niche fragrance that I was thinking about doing the same thing with um, that I've never smelled before. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Um, but anyway, if you guys like the format of this video, let me know and I will keep it up. I can't do it all the time because honestly I'm not ordering fragrance all the time but when I do have the opportunity to I'll keep it up if it's something you guys enjoy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Let us know in the comments below if you've tried Casilli or if you have any perfumes from the Parfums de Marley range. What is your favorite? I've heard that the men's range uh, is better <laughs> than, the f than the feminine range for whatever reason. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.